Russia has made major progress in the development of space propulsion. Two advanced plasma propulsion systems, the KM50M Hall Effect Thruster and the ID750 Ion Engine, have been successfully created and tested by the Keldish Research Center, an important part of Roscosmos. These engines are the result of decades of research into electric propulsion and establish Russia as a leading innovator in the swiftly evolving competition for deep space capability. They are intended to facilitate the development of a new era of spacecraft capable of traveling at faster speeds, covering greater distances, and operating more efficiently than ever before. Although electric propulsion is not a new idea, its global importance has increased significantly over the past decade. Traditional chemical engines are inefficient for long-term spaceflight, despite their ability to generate substantial propulsion for launch and maneuvers near Earth. In contrast, plasma engines employ electromagnetic fields to accelerate ionized gas, resulting in a more gradual thrust delivery while maintaining significantly higher fuel efficiency. This makes them perfect for nuclear-powered spacecraft, orbital logistics, and deep space missions. Russia's investment in this field traces back to the Soviet era. Early Hall thrusters became a pioneering contribution to global space propulsion science and powered satellites for decades. The new KM50M and ID750 significantly expand that legacy. Their operational lifespan and performance levels have placed them in a readiness category where practical interplanetary missions are no longer theoretical aspirations. This propulsion development effort was carried out with the help of top experts from Russia's nuclear technology field at the Rosatom Scientific Institution in Troitsk. Their involvement ensures a strong link between power system design and propulsion engineering. The KM50M Hall Effect Plasma Engine sets a new standard of performance in its category. It is one of the most powerful Hall thrusters ever developed, with an operating power of roughly 50 kilowatts. Unlike traditional engines that burn fuel, the KM50M creates fast-moving plasma by turning inert gases such as krypton and xenon into ions inside an electromagnetic chamber. The engine produces approximately 1.5 newtons of thrust when using xenon propellant. The thrust increases slightly to around 1.6 newtons when switching to krypton. Its efficiency is even more impressive. The specific impulse for xenon is approximately 3,800 seconds, while it can reach up to 4,200 seconds for krypton. A higher specific impulse means greater speed change per kilogram of propellant, increasing mission endurance and payload capacity. The KM50M incorporates advanced magnetic shielding technology. This reduces internal erosion in regions where plasma interacts most intensely with engine materials. As a result, the system can operate for more than 20,000 hours. That is equivalent to years of continuous use in high-duty orbital service or deep space missions. Recent vacuum chamber tests confirmed the scalability of the KM50M. Engineers demonstrated independent operation of four thrusters in a clustered configuration. This suggests that the propulsion system can support very large spacecraft such as interplanetary vehicles orbital tugboats, and nuclear-powered cargo transports between Earth and the Moon. In addition to the KM50M, Russia's propulsion breakthrough includes the ID750 ion engine. It is designed for missions that require extreme endurance and pinpoint maneuverability. The key difference between ion engines and hull thrusters is the method of ion acceleration, Ion engines use electrostatic fields to achieve even higher exhaust velocities. Although the ID750 generates less thrust than the Hall Effect engine, its efficiency allows spacecraft to operate far from Earth for extended periods. The engine is also optimized for xenon and krypton propellants. These performance characteristics make it an excellent option for scientific missions to the outer planets advanced satellite station keeping, and robotic exploration of distant celestial objects.
With operational longevity as a top priority, the ID-750 boosts Russia's ability to deploy spacecraft to distant orbits where chemical propulsion would require impractical amounts of fuel. The adoption of powerful plasma engines enables a new era of space architecture. Missions once considered too slow or too costly can now be executed effectively. Propulsion that lowers fuel consumption while increasing payload capacity is essential for interplanetary travel, industrial use of the moon, and long-term human presence in deep space. Transport spacecraft equipped with these plasma systems can carry more cargo because they require less propellant. This shift is important for the economic development of space and for scientific research beyond Earth. Lunar resource extraction including helium-3 production, will eventually depend on dependable and efficient logistics to transport materials to Earth or to orbital processing sites. Plasma engines provide the scalability needed to make such cargo operations a reality. These propulsion systems also make Mars exploration more viable. Shorter travel times mean reduced radiation exposure and greater mission flexibility. Plasma propulsion can maintain continuous thrust, gradually building tremendous speed over time. Although the initial thrust is modest, a plasma-powered spacecraft would surpass any chemically-powered vehicle by the midpoint of the journey. Orbital repositioning will become routine in upcoming space infrastructure networks. High-efficiency space tugboats will move equipment through Earth-Moon space assemble large structures, or reposition satellites into new orbits. Many nations are already developing such spacecraft. Russia's new propulsion systems offer performance advantages in this emerging field. Long-range transport ships will form the backbone of human expansion into the solar system. Nuclear power combined with plasma propulsion is a promising architecture. Nuclear reactors provide abundant electrical energy, eliminating the need for massive solar arrays that degrade over long missions or become ineffective far from the sun. The KM-50M is especially suited to these reactor-powered vessels. Clusters of thrusters could deliver propulsion exceeding hundreds of kilowatts or even megawatts. Such capability will enable routine interplanetary logistics and sustained acceleration. Space tourism, though still in its infancy, will depend on practical and reusable transport. A reduced fuel requirement translates to lower cost per passenger. Plasma engines enable more reusability in orbit by minimizing propellant consumption. They could support vehicles transporting people to orbital habitats or around the moon, turning destinations beyond low Earth orbit into commercially viable attractions. Commercial satellite operators will also benefit. High-efficiency propulsion extends satellite lifetimes, preserves fuel reserves, and enables mission updates long after deployment. This strengthens business cases and operational flexibility. The successful testing of the KM-50M and the ID-750 plasma engines marks a major milestone in Russia's aerospace capabilities. These systems will shape missions to the Moon, Mars, asteroids, and beyond, thanks to their excellent fuel efficiency, inert gas operation, and durability measured in tens of thousands of operational hours. Their progress reinforces Russia's leadership in electric propulsion and suggests that the future of space exploration will rely on smart efficiency and advanced physics, not brute force. As humanity stands ready to expand space into a frontier of industry, science, and commerce, engines like these become the essential tools that make that future possible. The horizon is no longer the limit. The solar system is becoming the new domain of human achievement, with plasma engines leading the way. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 